Netflix have since removed the episode of My and the Bee photo Netflix Joel Drabaman 12 hours Wednesday September 27, 2017 There has been quite a furor surrounding Q to see Netflix children's cartoon My and the Bee. The premise seems innocent enough. Sweet insect Mai leaves her hive to discover the world around her, educating kids on the beauty of nature along the way. Recently however, Maya has been more naturist than naturalist. A drawing of a penis was spotted in the background of a recent episode, leading to a wave of controversy. Reportedly the work of a rogue artist, the incident, in an episode fittingly titled King Willie, caused a number of outraged parents to condemn the show. The offending image, found in an episode of Maya the Bee, yet the appearance of sexual innuendos and rude images in kids' TV shows is nothing new. In fact, it has been happening for as long as cartoons have been broadcast. It starts with some sweets, broadcast in Britain in the 1960s and 70s. Clamation classic The Magic Roundabout featured more drug references than an episode of Breaking Bad. The series, which originally ran on the BBC for 12 years, had copious underlying references to illicit substance use. Excitable Dougal, a shaggy dog with boundless energy and an addiction to sugar cubes, famously claimed it starts with some sweets and then you're on two bags a day. His best friend Dylan, a rabbit who plays guitar and sleeps a lot, was assumed by many adults to be smoking pot off Gamera. Meanwhile, lovable cower Mintrude was often seen chewing on a flower with a striking resemblance to an opiate poppy. The Fevemenude storylines were trippy to say the least. In one iconic episode, Dougal attends a party he has no memory of and proceeds to converse with a banana and a pear. 70s show Captain Pugwash supposedly employed dirty puns for character names such as semen stains and masturbates. However, this is wholly an urban myth. Creator John Ryan successfully sued for damages after a newspaper printed the names as fact. Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon led the way for the connoisseur of inappropriate moments in kids' shows. Cartoon Network's output in the 1990s represents a veritable golden age of content. An episode of Cow and Chicken famously caused controversy when a bunch of butch female motorcyclists turned up and began literally munching on a carpet. Over on Nickelodeon, cult animation Ren Stimpy was the subject of a number of bans and re-edits. Chastised for being overly violent and boasting a number of references to alcoholism, it was controversial from the outset. One scene would be worthy of a place in horror franchise saw. Innuendo reached new heights when Stimpy was locked in a closet with Ren's cousin, Sven. Hey this is private, he says. Before shouting I'm a sword swallower from behind closed doors. Taking it too far Rocco's modern life, meanwhile, was a wallaby starring cartoon rife with moments that were eventually pulled from broadcast. In one episode, Rocco rents a room at the Notel Motel, and in was suspect sounds coming from behind each door. In another, a jobless Rocco finds work as a phone sex operator. Rocco's modern life photo Nicktoons for the most part, inappropriate content in kids' TV has typically taken the form of deliberate injects from the writers and creatives. However, as with Maya the Bee, occasionally somebody will sneak something into the background that was clearly not planned. The offending episode has now been removed by Netflix. Creators Studio 100 have claimed the mishap obviously results from a very bad joke from one of the 150 artists working on the production. With so many animators working on children's shows at any one time, perhaps it's surprising that these incidents don't occur more often. In Oost,